So many devices, so many remotes. It's enough to make anyone feel intimidated about streaming TV. I'm Matt with EPB and believe me, I get it. But let's all relax and pull up a chair. On today's EPB Tech Pro Tips, we're gonna get comfortable with one of the most affordable and most popular, the Amazon Fire TV Stick Remote. I'm gonna show you how to browse, save, and stream your favorite apps, shows, and movies stress-free. So why don't you stick around and let's see what we can learn. See what I did there? This is the Amazon Fire TV Stick. It's one of the most popular streaming devices on the market because it's reasonably priced, easy to install and use, and gives you access to all of your favorite apps. And one of the biggest reasons people love this device is right here, the Fire Stick Remote. It's intuitive, easy to use, and has some cool features. Let's take a look. So this is the star of our show. Up here, you've got your power button that turns your device on. Voice command, featuring Amazon's Alexa technology. The circular set of directional and selection buttons that you'll use to navigate each page. The back button, home button, and menu button. Playback controls, including fast forward and rewind, and play pause and volume control with the up, down, and mute buttons. See, it's not so complicated. Now, let's put these buttons to use. I'm going to turn on my device with this power button here. And one cool thing about the Fire TV Stick is that when you initially set it up, you can easily set it to turn on your TV as well when you hit this power button. So there's no need to use two remotes just to watch TV. So now I'm right here at the home screen with a lot of options to choose from. If I move to the left to the find tab, I can search for whatever I want, including apps in the app store or content by category. I can browse through any of these sections and go back to this menu with the back button at any time. Now let's say I wanna search for and install one of my favorite apps, like, I don't know, say the EPB5 TV app, for example. I would just click on the app store and move over to search. Then I can either type in what I'm looking for or I could use the voice command button to find EPB5 TV and Alexa will type it for me. Pretty cool. Once you download your favorite apps, you can use the remote to navigate around the same way with the directional and back buttons. Take the Fi TV app, for example. From the home screen, I can just navigate to the app with my directional buttons. And then click the select button here to open it up. Now, I use the same buttons to select my profile and start watching my favorite shows. I can change channels using the up and down buttons. And I can click either the back button or this menu button to bring up options like my recently watched channels here at the bottom. And the guide tab that I can use to browse all my available channels. Going back again, I can browse through shows or movies. Or go over to the search tab to find something specific, either by typing in a title or using the remote's voice to text feature. Once you get the hang of it, navigating the Fi TV app on your Amazon Fire TV stick is really pretty easy. As with any app, you can always press the home button anytime to get right back where you started on the Fire TV main menu. Well, that's Fire Stick Remote 101 for you. Now that we've figured out how to get around, you can watch all your favorite shows, movies, sports, and more on all your favorite apps, all with just one device. If you ever need anything or have any questions, we're always happy to help. Just chat, text, or give us a call anytime. Thanks for watching and happy streaming. We'll see you next time on EPB Tech Pro Tips.